Hi, it's your coach here, Joe Lucas. Happy Friday, August 11th. Hope you're having a great strategic day or maybe you're out on vacation, uh, spending some time with the loved ones or just kind of kicking back and looking back at the week, realizing that you had a pretty darn good week. So what I thought we'd do today is really kind of go over, if you will, how do we debrief a week? You know, how do you look back and, and kind of quantify things and, and you know, kind of celebrate the victories you know the reality is and I, I find this often we get so busy and a lot of time we get so focused on our failures or the things we didn't get our outcome on right that we we don't stop and, and celebrate our successes you know the the new client the uh, excellent review we did we did with somebody the uh, one or two names we may have gotten as a referral from a couple of different clients or center of influence or, you know, what we're proud of, right? Maybe in terms of how you handled yourself the week, um, nutritionally, exercise, how you manage your state, right, your mindset. We, we tend to kind of just hurry on to the next thing. And so what I thought would be really good today is let's talk about how do you really sit down for literally five minutes? And I'm doesn't take more than that. I know, you know, to really kind of sit back and quantify and kind of just kind of go back and look at things. So here's what I do, and here's what I've taught several of my clients to do. And by the way, this is kind of new stuff we're, uh, we're talking about here today. I think the first thing that really helps for me is I, I get my weekly calendar out that I just wrapped up. I actually just did it this morning, a couple hours ago. And I look at everybody spoke, for me, everybody I met with, right, usually over the phone. And I look at where the impact was, you know, that, you know, how to help this client, that client. And, you know, typically I'll have you know, 20, 25 phone calls, up to 30 phone calls in a given in a given week. And these are individual calls. So I look at the impact I have there, right? And I ask you to do the same thing. When you look back at the clients you spoke to, the reviews you did, uh, the interactions, you know, think about one or two clients that, you know what, you really made a difference for. I think that's really important. Now, the second thing you need to do is think about how you approach the week. So for me, it's like, okay, how did I handle me? Uh, was I positive? Did I have high energy? Did I, did I manage my disappointments, my frustrations? And look, disappointment, frustration, sometimes anger, overwhelm, right? You're going to have these emotions on a regular basis in our business. And you've got to decide in advance how you want to handle them. You know, how you want to kind of overcome them, if you will, or reframe them to yourself. So that's what I do. So how, did I, how, did I, how, did man, how did I manage me? Because look, here's the bottom line. If you don't manage you, nobody else is, A, is going to, and B, not managing yourself costs you a lot of money in this business. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, in most cases, I think for many of you, millions of dollars a year, because you don't manage yourselves, okay? So again, we want to take a look at that. So I do that, look at my clients, right, how I handle me, and then I'll take a moment, and I'll just, and I literally close my eyes, and I think about it, and I go, okay, what am I grateful for? What, what, what's some of my gratitudes for a week? Now, I practice gratitude daily, but I think on, on a weekly basis, hey, what am I most grateful for? What happened in the week that touched me, right? Maybe it was a person, maybe something I read, maybe an experience I had, but I, I go through that. And then I say to myself, okay, what, what do I need to do better at? Okay, so, okay, you, you, again, there's always another level. There's always a way to elevate, if you will. And then I ask myself, okay, what do I need to do better? What do I need to focus on? You know, and then I'll take a look a little bit at next week, right? Now, if I'm out, now next week, I'll be a tactical week for me, right? So that means I've again a ton of phone calls. In fact, a lot of phone calls next week, and I'm okay. Got to get myself around that, right? And same thing for you. You got to look at next week's schedule and say, okay, what's going on next week? You know, where do I need to? Where are my where are my opportunities, right? Where are my potential wins, if you will? And you do all that, right? And then, you know, whether it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning on a Friday or noon or, you know, 3 o'clock, whatever, whatever your Friday brings you, right, is you kind of look at that. Now, if you want to be a little more quantitative, totally cool with that too, right? How many contacts did you do this week? So how many, how many contacts, clients, prospects, phone, in person, doesn't matter. How many meetings did you have? Client, prospect, this week, this past week, right? How many introduction conversations did you have, right? How was your morning ritual? How was your daily game plan? So, so if we want to get into that piece, which I do track also, then you want to add that to the board, right? And as far as, you know, if you want to write a little paragraph, um, real quick, let me show you. You know, get yourself a binder like this, 
right, real quick, binder, and you can write, write your notes in there. You can do that. Or if you, if you like the online piece, like Evernote or something. But I, I really like the idea, of, and, and you know, you don't have to journal every day. And I know some people do. I journal every couple days. It's not something like every day I've got to do. However, I do find kind of a real weekly, real quick weekly debrief, you know, paragraph, how, how you felt the, the week went. When it comes time to do your business plan for the next year, you're going to have a narrative. And you're going to really know, hey, how, not just kind of looking back in a kind of a disassociated way, but you'll have the here and now reports. So consider that, okay? So that's what I got for you today. You know, really a little bit of a weekly debrief. I think it'll really help you kind of quantify things and celebrate the successes. I don't care where you are in your business career, you know, whether you're just getting into our beautiful business or you're, you know, you're pushing this thing out 35, 40 years, there's always successes each and every week. So God bless. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.